You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today we're going to be taking a look at the GEP RC Crown, which is a Cinewhoop style uh, ducted FPV drone. So stay tuned and we'll check it out. If you've watched this channel and watched any of the FPV content on it, you know that I'm a big fan of GEP RC, especially their digital stuff. And uh, this one here is a Cinewhoop. I'm gonna tell you, it is my first real experience with a digital Cinewhoop. I have flown an analog, I had the Squirt 2 analog, but since I've switched over to digital, it's really night and day difference. And so I was really glad to get to try this one out. Now this is the Crown. It is 156 millimeters motor to motor, so that's diagonally across. It has a Nebula Pro camera as the FPV camera in the front, and it uses the Cadex Vista system right in here for both the uh, video transmission and I'm using a DJI radio, so it talks directly to that Cadex system. I have had very good luck with this thing. Um, I've been chasing around mountain bikers with it. I have been flying it uh, chasing other drones and I've been flying it just kind of out in an open field. And at 299 grams, now that's without the battery, um, it's pretty lightweight for a Cinewhoop. And there's a few things I do really like about it and a few things I don't like about it. I'll start with the things I don't like about it. First of all, it is very difficult to get to the plugs that you need to get to in here uh, if you need to plug it into uh, Betaflight or if you need to plug in the Cadex unit in order to um, register it or set it up or anything like that or update firmware. I recommend for this guy, there's these little 90 degree uh, USB connectors that are magnetic that you can put into the flight controller or into the Cadex unit and then you can actually just connect via magnet and that makes it so much easier than trying to get a cable in there. Otherwise, you just gotta do some real shimmying and kind of bending and putting a lot of strain on it. I do wish that, um, that companies when they made these things would put those uh, connector, connection points in a little easier to get to spots, but that's a very minor gripe. My other minor gripe about this thing is, honestly, I feel like it's a little underpowered. Um, it flies great, it flies really smooth and level, um, but even with the 6S, which is the version I have, it just seems to be a little bit underpowered for the amount of weight there is. I don't know if different props would make a difference in that, um, or bigger motors, but for me, it just doesn't have the punch that I wish it did for being able to chase, say, a mountain biker or even like a motorized vehicle, I think would be really difficult to chase with this. But if you're going fairly slow, and you're just trying to be smooth and precise, it is absolutely fantastic. It has lots of space up here on the top for your payload. I've been using this little uh, TPU printed camera holder here with a Osmo action, action camera. Now, I do like this because it's really simple and I can just zip tie it right on there and fly it. However, it's a little bit severe of an angle for the speed I've been going. And so I would actually recommend if you're gonna get something to put your action camera on top of this, that you get one that's adjustable. This TPU printed one, while it's super simple and it holds the camera really well, it is uh, not adjustable. So once you put it on there, you're kind of at a fixed angle, which um, I think is a little too much of an angle for how fast this goes and how fast I've flown it. Um, as far as the durability of it, I've crashed this thing a lot. and it is held up just fine. I haven't had to replace any propellers because they're all ducted. They, they feel very soft. Uh, there's some padding out here on the outside, some rubberized stuff, so if you did run into something like a vehicle, you're not gonna scratch the vehicle unless you flip over on top of it or something. I also like the fact that they've lined the inside of these ducts with a smooth plastic surface here that's not rubbery. And so that means that it's not gonna get chewed up by the propellers, it's not gonna get chewed up when you crash, um, it's very nice. I did, crack it. I did crack it a little bit. I don't know if you can see that right there, but there's a spot where I actually cracked a little bit of that plastic on the inside. I think I did it in two places. Yeah, there's, there's the other one. Can you see that? 
As I said, I've beaten this thing pretty severely and it seems to have held up quite well for the beating that it's taken. So uh, kudos to uh, GFRC for making a really, really solid product. Um, as I said, this is my first Cinewoop with the digital uh, transmission system. It does also come in a version with an analog transmission system. So if you don't have digital yet, you can fly it with analog. And I don't see any reason not to if you've got your analog dialed in. But with the Caddx in it, it's not that heavy. It's uh, very smooth. It is a little underpowered, even with the 6S. I really wouldn't buy this uh, 4S version of this. I really think it's going to be better if you buy the 6S version because, as I said, it feels a little underpowered with the 6S. So I would imagine with the 4S, it would feel even more so. And if you're getting into flying Cinewoop style stuff, this really does feel like it's going to be a very safe option for flying around indoors or around people or animals or something like that. This is the GEP RC Crown. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out and see what the price is and all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Leave comments below and we'll see you next time.